Happy Thursday, y'all. It is Jupiter Day. So I know I said on that post I made on Tuesday that I was going to be back yesterday, but like two minutes after I, not even, I posted that, um, that made that post, my cycle was just like, hey, hello, and like just took me out the next two days. Well, yet that day and yesterday so I took time to rest to to nurture myself with sleep okay <laughs> I slept pretty much all day yesterday um and yeah just really let myself be still how I needed to be so I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day so far Jupiter rules Thursdays and this is all about, you know, our beliefs, our path, you know, our truth, maybe some travel, even our sense of adventure, fun, you know, and, um, but also what it is that we know, our higher knowing of things, seeing things from a higher perspective, right? So coming out of that, that Gemini kind of um, practical sense of knowledge and more into a heightened state of God knowledge, God seeing sense of things. All right. So with that, let's see. So the moon today is in cancer and we have a cancer new moon tomorrow. So I'm really excited for all of you guys who are going to be joining tomorrow for the new moon gathering. Looking forward to that. And yeah, so right now it is uh, in a benevolent connection with Jupiter. Today is Jupiter Day, right? So it's in Pisces. And Pisces is it's either like a great confuser or a great revealer, right? Depending on the situation, the person, the people involved, and everything like that. And the moon is an illuminator. So things may be coming to surface. We may have been having some dreams that revealed some things to us in regards to our path, our journey, you know, feeling secure within ourselves as well, you know, and, and the beauty within that, feeling grounded, feeling home within ourselves as well. Um, but we could just be having instances and connections. Uh, we may even be being revealed to something, some hidden aspect in regards to people on our journey with us in the truth of the matter, not necessarily a negative thing. Could be just something we haven't been aware of. Um, but it could also be of an enemy kind of energy as well. You know, maybe in, in it more so of anything from the past. And who knows, maybe it was just you. <laughs> okay, so let's see. That is the only connection that the moon is in at this time. By the end of the day, um, It'll be in a square. This this moon that we're having tomorrow is going to be in a square to Chiron. So it's some healing going on, some healing taking place, you know, and allowing us to move forward in a way that is um, a lot more secure within ourselves of who it is that we are. And, you know, because the sun is in Cancer right now. And that is really going to bring us to this space of, um, Right, because cancer is a space, it's a space of death, it's of secrets as well, right? It's not similar, it's not the same as Pisces or, or Scorpio, but it's like secrets of wisdom, nuggets that um, we attain through uh, our, our building, right? Our building of foundations and stability. What has it that, what, what road, what, what experiences have we had up until this point that can really show us the truth, the reality, the, the, the knowing it is in a sense that needs to be had in order to move forward with continuing to live our lives in a very stable way. I think it's the best way to put it. And I hope that makes sense. So let's see what card is coming out for us today. Spirit, what would you like for us to know today? What guidance, what insight do you have for us? Okay. So we have the age of light. This says you've been training for this for lifetimes, right? So this is about that inner knowing. You see, she has this light coming 
she's surrounded in light, has this pyramid of light surrounding her and this light flowing from the crown of her through her, okay? And this is information being downloaded, continuous, a continuous flow of knowing. This is Akashic energy, right? So this is um, things and understandings, lessons, wisdom, uh, experiences, knowings within our being, you know, that, that show up to to support us, to reveal to us that we that we are capable, that we are possible, that it, it is possible, that in some regard we've been here before, right? And that these experiences that we are having are uh, simply uh, another go run at doing it in a way that is much more abundant this way, you know, this time I should say, right? Because this this is can also speak about wishes being fulfilled for us, what it is that we have been working for, um, receiving that gold, right, at the end of the rainbow. And, and like the cosmos supporting us, being in alignment as well with who it is that we are and what it is um, that we came here to do, right? We get to choose how we do that, okay? So we have the clouds here. So again, the clouds, uh, things are, are, it's like things are being revealed. The light is being shown on something where things have been cloudy, where things have been hidden from us, right? So that is clearing. Um, and it is bringing us a sense of clarity because this is also the seven of swords, right? So where have you been self-sabotaging? Where, and this is also, it's a 25 breaks down to a seven, which is the chariot card. Chariot card is ruled by cancer, right? Where have you been self-sabotaging um, your idea of, of stability, right? That you are stable, right? You may be receiving some messages of this as well, you know, and, and finding commitment and in grounding within that someone may have been having, watching you in a sense with um, loving eyes, right? And um, wanting to acknowledge that with you. I don't know, that may be something that's clear and clearing out and showing you as well that you are ready and prepared, fully prepared to do what it is that is yours to do. Okay, you guys, so happy Thursday. I hope that y'all have a wonderful day. I'll be sharing that story time a little bit later today. And yes, I will see y'all on Friday with a pick a card. All right, so bye. <laughs>